Jesse's back. Back again. Please arrive. Some pumpkins. Another day, another garden centre. Oh no, it started raining. I'm gonna get wet now. So one of my most requested videos probably of this year or even since last year, I don't know, is for a return visit back to my favourite plant shop. My most viewed video ever was the video I filmed here. We are back at Perrywood's Tip Tree. <laughs> and I've got my handy uh, handy basket handy. carrier slash cameraman with me as well this time. So yeah, we are gonna go inside, we're gonna have a look around. I think they've got some of their Christmas stuff out already, which is amazing. I'm really excited to see what autumnal bits they've got in there as well. And obviously pay the house plant section a visit, which is, in my opinion, the best house plant shop ever. ever that I've been to. I hope the rain stops at some point soon because it has just been raining every single day. Tomorrow is supposed to be good. Same colour as yeah, it looks good, well. doesn't it? Yeah, it's nine ninety nine. I reckon that would fit in there. Yeah, I might come back and get this. I'll take it now before somebody else gets it. <laughs> these are the ones you can't eat. These don't they make really nice decorations? That looks wicked. I need to get one of these. I feel like they would last forever. They do. Do they? Well, they last a long time. This one's perfect. I'm gonna have to get this one to put on my coffee table. This is just insane, it looks so good. This is what I need to do with my Monstera because mine's like growing outwards like this. So I need to get a pole and start trying to train it to go upwards instead mm. because it takes up way less room like that. They've got loads of amazing terrariums in here and they actually do workshops as well. This is where I did my terrarium workshop, the one that you saw me plant up in my last video. So yeah, if you go onto the Perrywoods website, you'll be able to see the different workshops that they have on here. Oh my gosh, I love this. That is right up my street. I keep seeing these and just think they look lovely. I just haven't got the room for them. I think maybe this is what I need to buy for my Monstera. Yeah, do you think that's tall enough? No. <laughs> Look at this. Ooh. Oh, it's so cool when it's like raining outside and you can hear the rain on the roof. Oh, this is, oh, this is what I bought the other day. A South Asian shakers. Yes, I already have one of these. Oh, I didn't know it's called Jacob's Coat. I think mine looks a bit more orange than these ones. These ones seem to be more green and yellow. He's hammering it down out there. Eh? 
There is no better sound in the world than this. Like this is this is what I want to go to sleep to every night. This sound. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Here he is, Instagram superstar. <laughs> If you're not following Calm's Plants on Instagram, go and check him out because he does some really good... You, you do more like Instagram... Is it Instagram TV? Is yeah, that what it's called? IGTV. IGTV. Um, I do it just to educate people on Calm's Plants. I do it because I love it as well. So. <laughs> He's a legend. He's an all-round legend and he always helps me out with, like, plant stuff. He always makes us laugh, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the guy, when I've got a plant issue, I message on Instagram and I'm like, Harry, what do I do? Because my monster is grown out like this. And I'm like, it's just starting to take up so much room. But so I need right. it to start growing upwards. Unfortunately, you've got the Deliciosa one, which is the compact variety. Yeah. So You'll be fine. Yeah, will eventually get massive. <laughs> well, you said to repot it the last time, didn't you, when we was in it? So yeah. I was like, oh, it's starting to go yellow. So I repotted it, and it seems to be like much happier, but now it's just like expanding even more. So where are you going? I'm going to the Sahara Desert in Morocco, and I'm going for a whole week, and I'm doing a 100 kilometer uh, walk. 100 kilometer walk? Yeah. How long is that going to take? Uh, six days. So you're going to have to... Kids Inspire for Under Griffiths Children in Chelmsford. Okay, and have you got like a GoFund in your... Yes, it's, um, page? it's on Virgin Charity. I've got the details on the desk there. Okay, give me the link and I'll put the link in the video. Yeah. If you want to go and sponsor Arif on his walk across the Sahara <laughs> Desert, then go Please and do it. Me. <laughs> oh, you've got a special <laughs> sign and everything. So you just go to this link here. Yeah. And then you just put Arif Khan. Yeah. And that's me there. Oh, brilliant. London We'll definitely give you a sponsor. Right, just, got out way to do it. I've got one of these. It's gone absolutely crazy on my kitchen window. Thing, that's one thing I've probably killed. I think I overwatered it. Really? Yeah, you just need to not water it, basically. But that's a bit more Oh, open. cute. Yeah, that's <laughs> nice. Inspired. What's the most like unusual plant you've got in at the moment, do you think? Well, you know what? We actually sold them. On the weekend, it was the corrugated cheese bags, and we sold them within 24 hours. Really? So I hope people get some more. Oh. But we don't have them in. So. I think the unusual one is the Senecio. You know the string of hearts? Oh, yeah. No, the Serapegio. I had one That's of them and it died. It's a bit more unusual. String of dolphins, that is yeah. nice. So it's um, Senecio Peregrimus, what's that like? Peregrimus. Peregrimus. Is that, because we were looking at one the other day, weren't we, called Lipstick? The lip lipstick um, yeah. plant? Uh, Echinosis. Red lipstick? Yes. Yeah. We have some That's not that, is it? It's no, no. This one here is more of a dry, arid plant, but this one appreciates more water. because I can see why you thought like that, go because it's they're like wider yeah, versions of that. Yeah, a bit similar, yeah. Oh, cute. Does that have everywhere. to be hanging, that one, or can it be no, just on the ground? No, you can do whatever you like with it. I like it hanging because I think it shows more yeah. of the dolphins on there. And they're easy to propagate as well. Are as they? you see in our kitchen display we have. I love the displays here, they put so much effort in. This is what my bathroom will turn into at some point. String of bananas. Yeah, string of bananas as well. I've not seen everything. that one before. I mean. We haven't got a string of monkeys yet. He won't let me screw anything into the ceiling though, so. See, I've got so much house plants and now I'm looking at more shelving and more hanging. It's, it's good. Yeah. When you learn the benefits of them, the way they release oxygen and take like the bad air, it, yeah, the benefit of it is really good. Your mood does change. Yeah, so I think it does. Get it. When are you start on your YouTube channel, I actually upload the IGTV on YouTube. Do you? Yeah. yeah, and the Caterpillar Folia Care one. Oh really right, good. okay. So what's your YouTube channel called? Can't plants. Can't plants. <laughs> you need to get into YouTube. It's taking me to the lipstick plant. This oh yeah, that's the one. It's foliage, but also you can see the lipstick plants. Ah, oh, see, that's, that's what I didn't really see oh, properly the other day. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it's pretty cool. And there's the label, so you can get an idea. Yeah. No, I saw it the other day, but I only saw like this bit, and I thought, why is it called lipstick? I didn't see the red flowers. Yeah, it likes a lot of bright light. Mm. And surprisingly enough, it does drink a lot of water. Does it? Yeah. I leave mine on the dryer side. I guess because it doesn't get enough bright light. Yeah. So here is our amazing propagation station with that nice LED wow. light. Wow. That's cool. That's so cool. And it's great for the roots as well. For when it's dark, you put in more strain and energy to produce more oh. roots 24 7. That would just look really nice in your room, wouldn't it? Like, lit up. Mm. It's taking me to see flamingos now. They've actually. Very oh my popular. god. 
They are amazing. I didn't think they would do that well, to be honest, but they have, so. They're really cool. And now I've started to like them because they have done well. <laughs> That's so nice. Yeah, I bought one a bit like this, but bigger. It's mm. like a bush and it's just like hanging on they my mirror. They require so much humidity and moisture. And what people don't know, they need rainwater and not um, uh, tap water. So we could just the use the water kills the, it. Oh, does it really? So it's water from the water, water bath? Yeah. We your loads of oh. the chicken shit, don't we? Yeah. I soaked mine for half hour, let them strip dry and hang them back up. And you'd be surprised how green they get. They literally green up like this. That's what we've got to do. Yeah. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I need to get this. I love that. Don't ask me to pronounce the name, but the <laughs> common name's a zebra plant. Zebra plant, This is right. more of a variegated variety. It's got more white wash to it. Okay. So that's really a hard to get plant. So if you want something unusual. Mm. Yes. I'm always drawn to this one. I love this one. Mine's done really well. Has it? Yeah. What's I'll that one called? There's Begonia maculata. Oh, right. So these are all Begonias. I've got a really small one of them and it just hates me. Yeah, same. Mine doesn't look like that. Mine's got like red and brown right I around think it the outside. Getting too much light or direct light, maybe. Yeah, someone said maybe the water as well. Yeah, well, I like lime scale. And that got rid of the redness. Oh, really? Softer pH. Do you use rainwater? No. We've just got so much rainwater now. Oh, that's gorgeous. This is like your unusual part to get nice. kind of stained glass terrariums and different shapes. Mm -hmm. Kind of like in the egg. Yeah, so that's think, wicked. It's quite fragile, but I just like it. Even though it has a cactus with oh. a close to room, it's not going to go mouldy. What's, what's that? So that, you just turn it on. Obviously it's not dark, but if I was to take the lid off, that's oh. the idea. Oh, amazing. So have these all got lights in? Not all of them. You'll oh, okay. see them with the There's ones button. that got the button on top. Honest, we sold most of them, that's the last one there. Really? That is really epic. Nice. And that, people don't realise, some plants can actually live in water, because water. water contains oxygen if you replenish it as long as it doesn't go green. Yeah. So with me, I have uh, adacaceas, and they tend to get spider mite, and spider mite hate humidity. So if you stick them in water, clean and rich from the soil, mm. spider mite are gone. So one problem that I've got is mealy bugs on my Christmas cactus. Some people have been like, just throw it in the bin because no. it's going to infect your other plants. But every week I've been sort of dabbing them with like, cotton bud and alcohol. Yeah. Alcohol might be a bit too strong. Okay. It might burn the foliage of the plants. It's all in the soil as well, so you want to scrape some of that top soil, mm -hmm. replenish it with the soil. Right. Get in the nooks and crannies with the earbuds. Yeah. And then we have got an organic folia feed spray and also a pest killer. Right, okay. So it covers them, it suffocates them, they drop off, but also mm -hmm. folia feeds your plants. Right. But it's common. I don't really want to throw it away because your mum bought me sure. that for Christmas. Just okay. make sure you um, put it to one side, separate yeah. it from the rest of your plants so it doesn't contaminate the rest of them. Okay. Plant. Have you got any Christmas packs? We have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's easier just to say Christmas cat I didn't. I was looking at it, thinking. Yeah, I do like it a lot. Okay, mine looks nothing like this. This is making me want to buy a new one now and just get rid of the other one. They're quite slow growing. The, the greenery is slow, yeah, my, but the flowers. My are green bright. bit's gone a bit sort of ready dark. I don't know if that's okay. That's just the Too type much I've light. Got. Uh, it is on the windowsill. Too much light. It's not going to kill it, just yeah. means um, it's just colouring up a little bit. Okay. So it doesn't need to be in direct sunlight? No direct sunlight. Okay. They break, they flower three times a year. So that'll be a, a white, white with a yeah. pink brush to it. It's always the last one to flower. Yeah, that's what I've got that one. But I think this makes a really nice Christmas present as well, doesn't it? Like, yeah, or, or an Easter. It's an Easter, Easter cactus as well. Is it? Yeah, Thanksgiving, everything. Yeah. But if you've got a mealy bug and you've got a clean piece, all you have to do is snap that off. Yeah. Stick it in dry soil and then don't water it, it'll grow roots eventually. Okay. And when you start seeing roots, give it a little water and you'll be fine. Yeah. But they're a great plant, good price. Yeah, that is really nice. <laughs> is that you're doing? No, moist, you can see but... I tried to rub it off, but... Um... So many people hate the word moist. I'm one of them. <laughs> I've got one of these, they're yeah. cool. I feel like some moist cake. Well, if you don't like that, you can always go through my loving. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I tried to help, but unfortunately, ferns get in the way as well in the dry. So I don't have a problem. Dry, moist, whatever. Take you know. <laughs> it as it comes. It'd be funny if you took a picture of yourselves with it. Do you want to take one? Tag them. Yeah, okay. Are you ready? <laughs> one. Seven, seven, over here. <laughs> <laughs> I like the... We're doing boomerangs now. 
<laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> it's got some reach now. <laughs> I do like the hanging practices, don't I? Two, one. <laughs> Three, two, one. Yeah, they've been popular. Yeah, they're cute, aren't they? I'm quite into putting my plants in baskets at the moment. Did you not see the ones over here? He's off again. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got now? Oh yeah, because you put plastic inside there in here. I kind of like this. It's very um, Sahara desert. Yeah, like I tend to find the best ones in the homeware. Just look at the pots over here. Yeah, right. Mm. Always have the best time when we come in here. Oh my god, look! Love these. I can't leave without one of these little cute pots, so I um, just picked up one of these little plants to go inside. Oh, I've got one. A very successful Periwoods visit. That was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, I've just got home, so I just thought I'd show you what I picked up today at Periwoods. So I've got this cute little munchkin pumpkin for 99p that I'm going to have to put on my coffee table as a nice little decoration for autumn i've already got some of my autumn decor out um i also got one of these poles which i'm going to pop in here and i'm going to hope that i can pull some of these monstera branches in a bit um i've had some advice today about how best to do that and to maybe trim some of the leaves off. Um, I don't really want to see it smaller than this, but it needs to be a little bit more tidier. So that's for in there. That's a job I need to do. I've already got another leaf coming out of the Monstera. Since I've repotted it, it's just gone wild. But we're actually, we've got a little fire coming that we're gonna have here, um, like a log burner. So this is gonna probably have to move somewhere else unfortunately and I don't really know where to put it yet because as you can see most of my corners are taken up. Anyway I'm so happy with this basket um, I wanted to get a basket opposed to a pot because I just feel like I really like the natural sort of elements of baskets as well. I've got a couple of basket pots one down there and this one's in a basket I think it keeps it nice and Look how stunning that looks in that basket. I knew the colours would go really well, but that is beautiful. So autumnal as well, I'm so happy with that. It's looking great. Other plants I picked up, I wanted to get this pot. Um, the pot was a must. This was £3.49 and I needed a plant to go in the top of it and any pots with faces on like this I like to get ones that almost look like hair so I saw this one I don't even know what this is mix crassula family so that is super tiny and it just fits perfectly in there so yeah that's gonna go on my desk love that I didn't want to get any big plants because I'm really struggling for space but I saw this and thought that is so cute. It's got a tiny little face on the pot and it's literally just like a miniature air plant, which again, I'm probably gonna put on my desk. And then finally, I just picked up a couple of these little mini pink basket trough things. Um, I thought these would be really good for giving treats to my chickens in. So, and they go with the color scheme in my chicken coop. So they'll come in handy. So all in all, a really lovely visit to Periwoods today. It just never disappoints that place. I absolutely love it, as you all know. 
it's still my go-to favorite place for buying house plants and yeah Arif, star of the show today. Thank you if you're watching for taking part and being so willing to be on camera. I'm sure you're gonna get a lot of fans in the comment section. You are literally my plant guru. And in a couple of weeks time, I'm going to be visiting the new Periwoods, which has opened in Suffolk in Sudbury. So if you're quite close to Sudbury, be sure to go and check that out. I'm really excited about going there. I think the Sudbury Centre is on a much smaller scale than the tip tree one that we went to today but I'm still really excited to go there and it's so great to see them expanding into other locations as well so keep an eye out in a couple of weeks because I'll be posting a little video from there I always say to people you can treat Periwoods like a really nice day out because you can literally make a day out of it over there it's so big there's so many different things to look at and see they've got an amazing cafe and restaurant as you can see as well they do a really nice selection of different vegetarian and vegan options and they really work well to kind of take into account people's dietary requirements so if you've never been and you live slightly far away I would just really recommend it have a day out come to Essex you can stop at Coggleshaw on the way which is a really pretty historic little town as well have a walk around there and there's other things in Tiptree as well obviously with all the Christmas stuff coming up as well they've got so much in there and they're also going to be having their Santa's Grotto and yeah it's just endless anyway that's it this was the most requested video i've had over the past year a return visit back to periwood so i hope you enjoyed it and i'll be back again with more plant videos soon see ya